life upside down today we've got this radio control unit uh, which is a PV1754 it's quite a common control unit for military radios uh, this particular one is a control unit for the Plessy PTR1751 military radio using quite a lot of aircraft um, from the 70s, 80s, 90s a lot of helicopters it's using the Avro Shackleton um, Lancaster bomber when it had an upgrade from the original 1940s radio the only difference is some of these control panels might have an additional dial here uh, but I got this one cheap because of the damage to the front it's got some interesting looking displays on there so what I'm going to do is take it apart uh, and see what's inside now the first inspection is it's got a warranty expire sticker there of 2nd of the 12th, 1984. So it's a very old unit. Probably made in the 1970s. But once we get it apart, we'll be able to tell by the date codes on the chips. So let's start by removing the, the top cover. Right, that's all the screws off the top cover now. Um, there's a note saying there contains static sensitive equipment, so there must be something interesting in here. I haven't got the rest of the radio, so I've already got the control unit. Like I say, it was inexpensive because of the damage to it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's really old. Very old, the old electronics smell. It's got that kind of smell about it. The old, old, old electronics smell. Uh, some chips there. So we've got here CD forty ninety eight. CD forty eleven. Yeah, it's four thousand CMOS logic. Four thousand series CMOS logic. We've got a. Uh, MC145 11PAL again that's uh, CMOS logic 4511 we've got a custom plastic chip here as well SL3082D um, I'll just quickly look up what that chip is that, that is a binary coded decimal to 7 segment display driver so that's Probably for the front panel LEDs. Yeah, looks like it. So that must be the display driver board. Yeah, uh, don't know if I can power this thing up actually. See if it does anything. Where well, there's some expensive good quality switches, brightness control. Range sites by the look of it, whatever this TR thing means. That's smashed. Um, yeah, it does slightly work. Um, well, there's some more boards under there. Let's try taking that one out. I'm just in for a see if I can get the displays working. I'm just in for a film prop or something like that. Obviously with the damage to this unit, it's not going to be serviceable. I mean, um, I did come across somebody wanting one of these units for Avro Shackleton Restor Restoration Project. We never managed to find one on eBay. And that was back in 2002, I believe. So you had to replace the radio with a more modern one. Um, I could have had this one if it were available, but I think it's it might be knackered anyway. Uh, that radio apparently with PTR 1751 is actually approved civilian use now by the Civil Aviation Authority. 
um, come across an article about that. Uh, oh, that's very tightly packed wiring. Mm. Any connectors you can undo. Oh, yeah, we brought on a new stuff with it. I got some more chips here. Two more binary coded decimal to seven segment display drivers. Uh, MOS 4000 C MOS chips. Uh, these are, yeah, this is the display driver for the, by the look of it. Uh, let's see what we've got. And then where's go? It's interesting how this is all wired together. I'm not right what in this. Um wonder if there's anything in the bottom half. Well I'll work in a minute, but what have got here? Yeah, more four thousand series logic chips. I think most of the controls will come from the radio in it itself. Um yeah, these are all 1981 dirt codes. So this thing was probably made in 1981 and came with a three year warranty, I'd imagine. Yeah. There's a DS7832J, whatever that is. Um, yeah. Not much interest in there, really. Uh, Front panel displays. Ooh. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom. Now, if there's some binary code of decimal, it's a seven segment display drivers in there, I'd expect uh, maybe a microcontroller. I think it might be too old for that though. It might all be 4000 series gates. Is there anything interesting inside this cover? Mm, yeah, another PCB at the bottom. Two more PCBs at the bottom. Uh, looks like it comes out. There's a connector there. That's wired to that. Hmm. Let's see what this, this PCB. Yeah, all these screws are loose. It's definitely been in bits before. I don't think I'm going to be salvage much out of this. Uh, this place look interesting though. They look like LEDs. Oh, it seems. Uh, right there. Um, my watch it gets. Uh, power, power bar by the look of it. Uh, MC one four five nineteen B A L. Um, three of them, 476, yeah, and 1982 date code on that chip. Yeah. Oh. oh, there's a microcontroller here. Uh, another PCB with 4000 series logic on. And we've got a microcontroller here. Um, 
is labeled NOM 402L 8140G. I presume the 8140G with the date code. Uh, NOM 402L. Absolutely no idea what that is. Yeah. All right, well, all right, so yeah. The last PCB. Thousand series logic. The big chips are CD forty sixty seven BFs. Yep, yeah, two of them. CD four zero six seven BF. Uh, well, that's about it for the electronics. Let's see if we find that power circuit. See if we find a way of powering this thing up. Right. Well, I think the power supplies are likely to be. Going to go into be on the main unit. There's some transistors here, but BD one three nines. Um, I can't find the voltage input. It's like I say, it's probably the main unit. So I don't think I'm going to better power this thing on. Okay, very mess of cables, wires. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look at the state of that. It's just a, <laughs> it's uh, there's some good quality switches in there. In fact, there's even some log MOS circuit boards under there, under the switches. Um, let's have a look at those displays. Now, let's get this pull this knob off. So. Come out with that fight. Hmm, I think I might better remove that from the back. Yeah, I don't think we're going to better get this working. So, well, there's not much information on the internet other than, like I say, the Avro Shackleton that I mentioned. Oh, I can't get that out. Might go in your parts bin for something useful. Come Formal well, coating might be a bit of a problem. Um, if we can get that display module out. There's a couple more of these on eBay, but they're going for ridiculous money. I mean, like I say, this one will cheat because it's damaged. Uh, I'll bet you. Come on out, you know you want to. Right, there we go. Got it. They're funny looking displays. They're in sockets. Yeah, I got a kit part number of KW104S. Hmm. Put one out. Look. We haven't got any sockets. Have Oh, yeah. Come out of a sudden. There we are. Hmm. Strange looking displays of them. Date code in 1982. Hmm. I'll just lock those up and see what they are. Right, well, what those are are filament displays. Seven segment filament displays. Uh, they're made by Waco, or Waco, however you pronounce it. Um, and they're still actually in production, you can actually still buy them. Um, they are commonly used for aircraft avionics, uh, simply because they're viewable with night vision goggles. Uh, they're typically found in radios, uh, and they're just readouts that go above the MFTs for displaying your heading, waypoints, that sort of stuff. Uh, they're actually quite valuable. 
So these go in an eBay used for 20 quid a shot. Uh, yeah, they're still available. Hmm, I think I might have got something here. No, I just wondered if I can interface these to uh, make a controller myself. Make some sort of interesting display. Hmm. That'd be quite uh to do. Now the thing is, where do these cables go though? Yeah, the cable goes down there. Cables for the display go. It's this wiring loom here. It's just at the bottom. Um where's it go after that? Loops around, back up. There it is. And it goes to this circuit board here. Yeah. Now, what shall we do with it? Yeah, well, I think I'll scrap it. These switches might be worse than that. Well, that one obviously not, but this one. Good quality switches there. These displays, like I say, are worth quite a bit of money. So I think I might have scored some of there, but I might have a tit about with them first. So if I'm getting working on an Arduino. If I can, I'll post a video about that. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Right, well, here's what remains of it. Um, use all these boards. Um, some things like these switches can come in under. I broke some of them, taking them off the front panel. Um, other than that, yeah. Um, this is what we have left over. A nice little pot, but I've pushed that. Um, so this is what we have left over. Some PCBs, display modules. And some switches which you can use. Um, yeah, I think that's about it.